Hey everyone, it's Paul Hamilton here from UTV. Let's take a look at what the Files app looks like on Vision Pro and how you can view those 3D models as files. So you might have them saved in the cloud from your Mac or iPad. Let's take a look at how they might look. Now, I could use my eye tracking. Sometimes I'm using my eye tracking. Other times I'm gonna use my finger just so you can see what I'm actually kind of clicking on or pinching on. So I'm gonna open up the Files app. And you can see here, it's everything that's in my iCloud is going to be stored there. Let's open up this Joker USDZ file. It's got an animation. And what I can do with two fingers is I can resize, which is really nice. You can see the animation and the textures come through incredibly well. Um, and we can kind of position them around. We can move that window around a little bit. We can make that bigger and smaller. This would be great for architecture building, looking at some, I guess, more technical. And what I can do there is I can view that at kind of different levels and once again, resize, do different things, all from the beauty of the Files app on Vision Pro. Now there's a little dial. There's a little dial on the top of my headset here. And if I quickly turn that round, you can see that it changes the environment in which we're in. It uh, disintegrates or morphs away my living room and gives me this 360 degree view, which I just wanted to show that it's got some capabilities of looking at files within a certain context or an environment. Let me undo this dial so that you can see my messy bedroom. I love that transition, by the way, that animation is beautiful. Um, so this could be students if they're doing any 3D modeling, uh, in CAD, looking at things like furniture design, looking at different, I've, I think I've got a little little sofa here. There you go, you can see those beautiful textures. Comes through a lot better than augmented reality in regard to the detail of those textures. I can rotate, I can look at those different aspects of the designs that I'm coming up with. They could be uh, scans, 3D models, they could be LiDAR scans, they could be room plan scans, there could be anything that we've got as 3D models that I can position around my area, which is incorporating that augmented reality with my virtual reality. But then again, I do love, sorry, I'm playing with that dial at the top again, um, because I love that ability to change the environment in which I'm sitting. Anyway, that was a really quick walkthrough, everyone. Uh, don't forget, we do some training. Uh, so if you've got a Vision Pro that you've purchased as a school and you're looking at how to utilize it with actually student work instead of, out, instead of having the need to develop your own um, native Vision OS app with coding and so forth, you can use it with Keynote. Take a look at my Keynote tutorial walkthrough and look at my Spline one. Paul Hamilton here for UTB.